Okay, I'm really excited to show you how to send a referral through our new referral form. Uh, we've spent a lot of time on this. We've listened to a lot of the things that you guys want, and we finally are able to push this out to you. So I'm really excited to show you a couple of new features. The layout is better, it has a better feel to it, and it also has some really neat features such as the screen capture that makes it easy to attach images, and there's a lot of cool things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through each one of these steps, and you'll be able to see uh, down at the bottom, it'll say tutorial, and you can click on that to get more information to dive deeper in each one of the steps. So the first thing you want to do is create an account if you haven't already, and then sign in. And once you're signed in, it will take you to the specialist page. What this shows is the people that are my defaults. As an orthodontist, I send to Cody Wilson the most. Quickly click on him and it will send a referral to him. Um, or I could click on um, Dr. Referral Web, who has multiple locations. Let's say that I do not want to send to my default. I can come to search and it will bring up all of the general dentists within 100 miles that I can look for. If you'd like to just add a doctor, let's say you have multiple doctors in your office and you just want to add a new profile, you click on this plus button, it will take you to a sign up page. Also, if you click on, let's say you don't see the person that you want to refer to, you can click on invite doctor and come in and put their name and email address and send this and, and then give them a phone call and just say, hey, you know, I sent you an invitation. Go ahead and click on this link and sign up and it will be a great way for us to communicate and send referrals back and forth to each other. So let's go ahead and click on Dr. Referral Web, select the right location, and we're moving on to the next page. This is the patient information that you're going to send. So with this patient information, it, you don't have to put in all the information. You really only have to put in their name and their mobile phone number. I'm just going to go ahead and put in John Smith. So let's go ahead and push next. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. You can choose primary permanent teeth. Uh, click the teeth and the procedure. If you don't see the procedure you want from this particular um, dentist, it's no big deal. You can just push next and just talk about it in your notes. And we'll put in any additional notes. Make sure you put in as much information as you can uh, to make this easier on the specialists and have them be more prepared for your patient. Now here you can upload any images that you've saved to your desktop or to a folder. Make sure that these are properly labeled so that you don't put the wrong images to this account. And then go ahead and push open. <clears throat> now you can use uh, your traditional JPEG, PNG files as well as other like DEXIS files, uh, etc. Basically this is the same way you attach images to an email. It's, it is a little cumbersome though. You're trying to export images out of your practice management system. Uh, you're relabeling them, then you're uploading them. So it takes some time and we understand that. So we created this awesome screen capture feature, which makes it really simple. So what you want to do is just toggle over to and bring up your practice management file of the patient and bring up the image. So you just may want to make sure that the image is big enough for a good resolution. The full screen would be great. Uh, this size right here is probably good enough. And then I push the print screen button on my keyboard. So what that looks like is this. Uh, sometimes it says print screen or it can have an abbreviation like this. But you click on that and whatever is on the actual monitor will be captured. And that's why you want the image to be as big as possible. And it's it's capturing it and copying it onto your clipboard, which is hidden in the background. So you won't even know that it actually worked until you come here and click on screen capture. And I click in the box and push control V. And what it's going to do is it's going to paste that image that you captured on your uh, on your clipboard. So now I can come in here and actually drill it down to the right size and push save. It's super easy. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and push send. So it takes a little bit of time for this spinning around and what's happening is it's sending information to the patient, letting them know that the referral has been sent, giving them information on how to get to the specialists and they're learning about the specialists and uh, it's also notifying the specialists that a referral has been sent so that they know to expect them and they'll be waiting for their phone call or even reaching out and welcoming them in. So okay, the referral has been sent. I can send another referral or I can actually click and spin to win. Now we created this just to help us uh, show a little appreciation for you guys using our app 
and as you can see there's 15 choices here you can land on three of which are Starbucks gift cards <clears throat> so you can go get yourself a coffee or a hot chocolate or cookie and let's go ahead and see what happens <clears throat> excuse me all right come on big money here we go and ooh, just missed it okay so we add in little thoughts and uh, fortunes as well you have a one in five chance of getting a Starbucks gift card Keep in mind this is from Referral Web. It's not from your specialist, and it's just our way to say thank you. So thanks so much. If you have any other suggestions or helpful hints for us, let us know. But we sure hope you enjoy our new referral form, and if you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks.